Hey, if you're a teenager or a parent of one of these strange creatures, come check this out. Hi, I'm Tommy Hotelling, Director of Student Ministries at First United Methodist Church of Richardson. This past week, a bunch of our students submitted questions about dating and relationships. And we thought we'd take a look at some possible answers for those of you who submitted them, but also for you parents who might find yourself in that sometimes uncomfortable conversation with your youth about love. Let's take a look. I think the answer would be no, but Remember, you are young, and you've got so many years ahead of you, and if you just take your time, you'll get the chance to meet lots of new people, get to know exactly what you like, so that later on in life, when you're ready to settle down, you're ready to find that one specific person, you know exactly what you want. So take your time. It's not a race. Well, first of all, I think all kinds of relationships can be healthy. They can come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, but they all share some very important characteristics. The first one is that it's got to be fun. You've got to enjoy each other's company. You've got to find something about each other that you're attracted to. The second, and it's very important, you've got to be able to be honest with each other. And you've got to know that your partner is being honest with you. If you can't do that, you don't really have a future. Third, you've got to be able to communicate. If you can communicate with your partner, and I'm not talking about text or notes, but if you can really sit down and talk to your partner, that ensures a great foundation for your relationship. And fourth, last but certainly not least, you have to be able to look out for the best interests of each other. In other words, if you're in a relationship with someone, you want what's best for them, knowing that they also want what's best for you. Those characteristics, I think, are what make a healthy relationship. You know, I don't buy into that whole pickup line thing. I don't think that really works. I think you just got to kind of speak from your heart and, and, and really just mean what you say and look someone in the eye. Um, you know, I was reading numbers last night and I realized I don't have yours. And did you know? that I put the stud in Bible stud D. <laughs> I actually don't think that there's one specific person that has been chosen for you. I think your experiences in life, uh, how you grow up, how you evolve as a human being, actually determines the kind of person that you're going to look for. And really, the choice is up to you. But that, that's a good thing, because that means you get to figure out what you want, what you like, and eventually pick the person that, that is the best complement to your life, and that you complement best. Well, that's it. See, that wasn't too bad. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>